In this example, uh, we're going to evaluate the following limit analytically uh, using a direct substitution approach. Okay. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to uh, use one of the properties of limits uh, to split this up. Okay. And then from there, we can evaluate each limit independently. All right. Okay, so using the property of limits, using one of those properties, we can rewrite this as the limit as x approaches 4 of 2x cubed minus the limit as x approaches 4 of 5x squared plus the limit as x approaches 4 of x minus the limit as x approaches 4 of 9. Okay. All right. So the terms uh, with negative, um, basically, uh, those become like operators. Okay. So that's why I didn't include them in the limit, because you can think of those as constants. Okay. So now we can use another property of a limit um, by taking out the constants. Okay, so from the first one, okay, we have limit of 2x cubed as x approaches 4. So um, we can go ahead and take out the 2, okay, okay, so that will leave us with 2 times the limit of x cubed as x approaches 4. And on the second one, we can take out the 5. So we have minus 5 times the limit as x approaches 4 of x squared. Okay, and then we have the limit as x approaches 4 of x minus the limit as x approaches 4 of 9. Okay. All right, so now uh, we can go ahead and evaluate these limits. Okay. Okay, so we're going so we have uh, two times. So the limit of x cubed as x approaches four, this is just going to be four cubed. Okay, and a minus five times the limit of x squared as x approaches four is just four squared. Okay, and then we have the limit of x as x approaches four. Um, that is just going to give us 4, okay? And then we have the limit of 9 as x approaches 4. So this, so anytime you have a limit of a constant, wherever x is approaching, uh, that's going to give you the constant, okay? So in this case, we get, we get 9 here, okay? All right, so we have 2 times 4 cubed minus 5 times 4 squared plus 4 minus 9. So that will give us a value of 43, okay? All right. So now you probably realize by now that that you can easily, or you could have just simply uh, substitute x equals four into uh, into the expression here into this function. Okay, and that is true. Yeah, you can do that. Um, that's again, that's just using direct substitution. But here, I just wanted to illustrate the the operations of or the properties of limits. Okay. And so, if we're letting this be our function, okay, so this is our function, 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus x minus 9. Okay, so what this is telling us, okay, um, right, if we do a, right, so if we do a direct substitution, okay, so if we evaluate this function at 4, uh, in this case, we get 43, okay. So we have to be, just to clarify things, okay, um, just because a limit exists, okay, doesn't necessarily mean uh, that the function value exists at that point, okay? Remember that in the first example that we saw, um, or I showed y'all, is that there is a possibility where you can, you can have a hole in the function. And so the function is not defined there, but yet the limit still exists, okay? In this situation, we don't have that. We have that. Uh, the limit exists, and the function is uh, the function is defined at the at this point of x equals four, and uh, that's not surprising because we're working with a polynomial. Okay, and if you recall from pre-calc, 
uh, polynomials are continuous everywhere. Okay, all right. So the limit here, okay, so the final answer is uh, we get the limit as x approaches 4 for this function is 43.